Hi everyone. Here we are introducing different kind of passive optical anode which are using in cable TV fiber to the home networks. At first I wish to show you two kinds of node which are an optone brand and the difference is male connector and female connector. There is only difference in connector type in between both kind of node and both are using in same application in fiber to the home for CATV. The difference is where it is exactly used in the customer premises. The mail type which, which, which can be directly connected to the set-top box but the female normally we are using for a enclosure like this one and uh, we can fix the node inside the enclosure and uh, tie it with uh, the lock nut. It is more safe, safer than directly connected to the set-top box. That is the only difference between this both kind of node. This is directly connected to the set-top box and this is put in uh, inside an enclosure and uh, we are using a uh, this kind of a coaxial bit cable and uh, connected to the bit cable to the node and uh, this end we can connect it to the set-top box. That is the application. But here I wish to show you another kind of a node which is also same optone brand. Here also have different type of connector male and female but the exact difference is it is also mentioned as filter node. At first I showed you there, there was no any filter but this one have mentioned filter node. We can check what is the difference between the first node and the second one. Filter means it is only allowed to pass 1550 wavelength signals through the RF port. That means without the filter is allowed to pass all the signals which are reaching in the optical interface but filter node only allowed to pass 1550 wavelength signals which are reaching in the inputs. That means in a cable TV network, a fiber to the home network, if you are using only cable TV signals, we can use the normal node. But if you are trying to use a WDM as a WDM network for providing cable TV as well as internet in a single fiber, we are suggesting to use this kind of filter nodes which is helping us to stop the unwanted wavelengths that are using for internet service. At first, when we are providing a fiber to the home connection in a, custom, in a customer premises, if the customer not want any internet connection, we can use this filter node to protect the internet signals which passing through the node. Do you know what is the problem if allowed to pass the internet signal also through the this, this node? It causes some disturbance and maybe it will interrupt some of the frequencies in a digital network platform. That means the result will be absence of some channels in our in our network. For avoid such condition, we have to avoid the unwanted 
frequencies like a 1490 or any other frequencies to pass through the nodes. So filter node will help to protect the CATV signals disturbed, disturbed wavelengths and only allow to pass the 1550 wavelengths. The advantage is when that same customer wants to connect internet connection also, we can easily change this node to a WDM node which is also Optone brand. The, this will help to take out the RF connection to set box and the green connector as an input and the blue connector to the ONU for provide the internet connection. So only we want to do like just remove the passcode from filter node and connect to the WDM node then RF signal also can get from the WDM and the optical signal also can get for ONU sorry. ONU. So we are suggesting to use filter nodes in a fiber to the home network for provide not only cable TV but also internet because all are thinking in the future the cable TV will change to internet TV or IPTV or OTT service then we can easily provide all the services through the same fiber to the home network that will help every operator to provide a value added service without any further investment or for avoid the network design and extra expenses. I hope you all make a benefit from this video and it will be helpful for your future. Thank you everyone.